Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So I will try to show you here in this video, we will see about the void state transition. So that means, for example, if an element is there, when it is trying to add dynamically in the angular, using the ng for something like that. So if it is dynamically getting added, how we can apply the animations for those things. So let's try to see in this video. Now here for this one, what I will try to do is I am creating a new component for this one void animation. Now let's create the void animation component. Let it create. So this is just this is this these animations are just whatever I can do is when, when an element is getting added dynamically using the NGF like that. So we will use this type of animation. Normally the element if it is actually already present, if you want to do the animation, those all things we have seen in our previous things like uh, state and all those things. So here we will see if an element is getting added dynamically into the DOM or it is removing from the DOM, we need to do an animation. For those reasons, we are doing this one. Here the component has been created. Let's go into our uh, app routing module. Sorry, not this one. App routing module. Let's open this app routing module. Here I will add a route path if it is void then I will be using the component void animation component. Let's import this one void animation component. We need to import it, right? Yeah, we have imported it. Now, if I go here and if I see the slash void, we will be able to see void animation works. Now in this one, what I want to do is let's go to the TS part. So here, if you go to the TS part here, I will try to create it another file condition conditional animation dot ts file okay instead of writing there i am writing it here conditional animation export constant conditional animation right so or otherwise we will write it afterwards so let's go to the void animation dot component dot ts uh, html in this one i will have a button okay i will have a button toggle content so here I am having toggle content. So this is the button I am having. So here if you try to see the button, here I am able to see the button. If I click on this one, we will show a random, uh, random content like now you can see content. So this is the thing and we need to have a click a event listener. I am using uh, toggle content. I will be having this method. So toggle content. So this is our method. And in this one, let's go to the TS file for this one TS file. And for this, I need to have a variable toggle variable show content, show content by default, it will be false. And here we'll be having this method toggle content. And this one I can write this dot show content is equal to not of this dot show content. So this is the toggle. And if I go here, here we are able to click the toggle and here I need to use an ng if condition ng if if show content is there then only we will be showing this one now if you try to see the toggle now I am able to see so this content is coming especially through the uh, what I can say ng if condition so the paragraph element is coming through the ng if condition now let's go to the CSS I will add some CSS for this one here for the paragraph element, I will apply a margin top of something like 10 pixel and a padding of 10 pixel and a background color I will apply of light blue and the border I will apply one pixel solid black. Yeah, that's it. Now if you see the output, if I click on the toggle, I am able to see the content. Now I am able to see the content. So now here what we have did it we are able to show it now i need to add an animation for this one for adding an animation for this one what we need to do let's go to the conditional animation and here i will be using export constant uh, conditional animation is equal to conditional trigger i will be using it like this so here let's import this trigger from the angular animations so we need to import this trigger from the angular animations now here we will be having a two states that is nothing but shown state okay so we need to apply the style for this one and the another one we will be having is the not shown state so these are the two things right state let's import this one style also we need to import from the angular animations so shown state we will be having 
and another one we will be having is the state of not shown so this is this is the thing. now let's import this one not shown yeah we will keep it like this only now let's go to the css file and here i need to add the animations property animations is equal to oh, sorry conditional animation yeah now in the html we need to add for the thing trigger thing conditional trigger is equal to so if show content is there then i need to show the shown or otherwise i need to show the not shown not shown state so these are the two states which i need to show so shown and the not shown now if you see if you go into the conditional animation yeah here we are adding it right now so what i need to do here i need to apply a transition 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 for not shown to transition let's import this transition so from not shown to shown if it is going not shown to shown yeah here if it is going means then what i need to do i need to an animation so first time from when it is not showing to shown it is coming means so what i need to do is so here i will apply a style of opacity 0 so right now it will be opacity 1 so i am adding a style of opacity 0 and afterwards i will animate this thing to 300 to style of opacity 1 right so here i will do this one now let's do the animation yeah so right now when it is coming from not shown to not shown like this i am doing and in the same scenario what is the error we are getting here style opacity style okay we need to close it again another one yeah now in the same scenario transition when it is coming shown to not shown so shown to not shown okay and here i can directly animate 300 style of opacity to zero so now here let's see that whether this these things will work or not now here i need to close again yeah let's see that these things will work or not now if you try to see the output for this one see when i refresh this page and if i am trying to do these things are not working why because this element is not at all present so that means there is not not there is no state available for this one so from no state to shown state it is coming so that means this not shown will not be there why because not shown is not shown is there means that element is completely removed from the dom so that means there will be no not shown thing now for this reason what we need to do is so here we have a special reserved character that is the special reserved word that is void so we should not override this one so when you are trying so from nothing to shown if it is coming means then you are trying to do it like this from shown to void if it is there means then you need to show it like this so this is void is a special reserved word we should not override with the state so we will be using it like this whenever an element is coming with an ng if directly to the dom means we will be using the void thing now if you see the output for this one if you see here now we are able to see a yes, opacity thing so this is how we will be doing for the ng if elements so whenever you are having an ng if elements dynamically uh, coming elements in the angular element in the angular means then you will be using this void state in order to apply the animations for this ngf elements so this is how we will be doing i will be committing this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 30 okay whoever may be having doubts and all those things they can refer to this one void animation okay here i will be committing this all the code i am publishing this branch whoever may be having a doubts and all those things already i have a github repository url so i will be providing this github repo url in the description below of every video whatever whatever if you want to refer the code what i am trying to do you can go to this branch and you can check this code so that's it guys hope you understood about this void animation if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you